Hey, I'm Davis Hamm with Loud Light. Here's what happened in the 11th week of the 2022 Kansas legislative session. A bill legalizing STLD policies known as junk insurance passed the House. Bills banning transgender children from sports and finalizing the MAPS for measles deal by essentially removing all immunization requirements from schools passed the Senate. For the fourth year in a row, Ty Masterson, who is now Senate president, won the Golden Fork Award for the legislator that lobbyists spent the most money whining and dining. Notably, this is based solely on lobbyists taking Masterson out and does not include the six-figure salary that Masterson receives from WSU that's paid for by Koch Industries. A wave of preemption bills to strip away local control and consolidate power in the state legislature are headed to conference committee negotiations, including preventing local governments from regulating throwaway plastics and robotic delivery on sidewalks. Wyandotte County recently passed a safe and welcoming ordinance to improve public safety by allowing undocumented immigrants to report crimes without fear of deportation, but the House passed a bill aiming to undo the ordinance. The House stuffed its most recent House redistricting proposal called Free State 3F into a Senate redistricting proposal called Liberty 3. SB 563 focuses on protecting incumbents, which garnered some support from Democrats, but the maps would predetermine most elections to guarantee not just a majority, but a Republican supermajority in the state legislature for potentially the next decade. Because the Kansas legislature has historically resisted efforts to embrace the one-person, one-vote principle of democracy by drawing fair districts, the state's constitution includes mandatory state Supreme Court review to determine if state house and Senate maps are valid. The constitutional amendment proposals to make state Supreme Court justice selection more partisan and to require supermajorities to change tax policy both failed to pass the Senate. A legislative veto over executive rules and regulations is currently an unconstitutional breach of the separation of powers, but the legislature succeeded in passing an amendment to change the constitution to usurp the executive power. The amendment will now go to a public vote later this year. Representative Ponkawi Victors was making history as she presided over the Kansas House when she used her gavel to quiet the room and Representative Wheeler said that he needed to make sure she didn't have a tomahawk. The mocking of native culture resulted in laughter from some legislators, but tribal governments condemned the remarks as degrading and inflammatory. This comes as the state's education commissioner is on unpaid leave for making derogatory comments about Native Americans, and the state is facing lawsuits for redrawing congressional maps explicitly designed to quote, take out Sharice Davids, who is the only Native American woman in Congress. This coming week is all about negotiating differences between already passed House and Senate bills and conference committees. However, anything could happen as legislators may manipulate the process to insert new ideas into already passed bills. Thanks for commenting, sharing, and donating. Stay tuned, stay engaged, and until next time, thank you so much, Kansas.